mercy on us. Glory to your God, glory to you. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present, filling all things, treasure of blessings, and giver of life, come and dwell within us, cleanse us of all sin, and save our souls, O gracious one. Christ is is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in Spring. 
and leave their wealth to their children. As for me, my justice, I shall see your face, and be filled when I wake with the sight of your glory. For you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, I trust you, let me not be disappointed. Do not let my enemies triumph. Those who hope in you shall not be disappointed, but only those who watch in the first day. Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, teach me your path. Take me walk in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Do I hope all day long? Remember your mercy, Lord, and the love you have shown from the old. Did I remember the sins of my youth, but remember me according to your mercy? The Lord is good and upright. He will give laws to those who stray. He guides the humble in the right path. He leads the way to the poor. His ways are faithfulness and love for those who keep his covenant and will. Glory to the sake of your name. Forgive us, O Lord, his way. If anyone fears the Lord, he will give laws for the way he should choose. The Lord's friendship is for those who revere him. To them he reveals his covenant. When I raise the wrong, I count the Lord, for the blessings might be from the man. Turn to me and have mercy, for I am lonely and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied, set me free from my distress. See my affliction and my toil, and take all my sins away. Preserve my life and rescue me. Do not disappoint me, you are my refuge. Make innocence and outrageous protect me, for my hope is in you, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, from all its distress. Have mercy on me, O God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Watch me for my guilt, take blessing from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned, what is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. Oh, see, you I was born, a sinner with my sin. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, and in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may thrill. For my sins, true are your days, and blot out all my guilt. Your heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Be not cast in the way from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me. Deliver me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God, and my tongue to bring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, for an offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice is a right spirit, and my whole body will not burn. In your goodness, O Lord, show a favor to Zion. You build the walls of Jerusalem. They will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, for a God is holy to sin. They will be offered up upon their altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. the 
You love the just and show mercy to the sinner, calling all to repentance through the promise of blessings to come. He, O Lord, in this very hour, to receive our supplications and to direct our lives in the path of your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set our right our minds, cleanse our thoughts. Deliver us from all affliction, trouble, and distress. Surround us with your holy angels, so that guided and guarded in their camp, we may attain oneness of faith and the knowledge of your unspeakable glory. For you are blessed forever and ever. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Who a virgin gave birth to God the Word, you truly the belt of us we magnify. With the blessing, Father, in the name of the Lord. May God be merciful to us and bless us. May He cause His countenance to shine upon us and have mercy on us. Amen. Master and God, Almighty Father, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, one divinity and one might, have mercy on me, a sinner, and save me, your unworthy servant, according to the ways of your wisdom. For you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, God, our hope. Glory to you. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death. And who knows in the tombs he granted life. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother, by the power of the precious and life-creating cross, through the protection of the honorable and heavenly angelic powers, through the prayers of the honorable and glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, of our holy Father Nicholas, the wonder-worker Archbishop of Myra, of the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and just ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy Prologue and Archdeacon Stephen, the patron of our church, of our venerable father, Samos the God, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death. By death he trampled death. And who goes in the tombs, and who goes in the tombs, he granted, he granted. Thank you. 
Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Yes. 
from the visit, men should not perish, but I might everlasting. He came and fulfilled the holy life plan of Ahab. On the night he was betrayed, or rather when he surrendered himself to the light of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure and magnet hand. He gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take ye, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sin. Amen. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Amen. Remembering therefore the saving command and all that has come to pass in Abba, the cross of the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. Now to the end of the memory of all 
is risen, Christ is risen, joy from heaven is around us, Christ our past now dwells among us, with hearts in celebration, God has brought salvation, brought us joy. Behold, this has touched your lips and will take away your iniquities and cleanse your sins. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. And we worship your name by faith. Oh, 